Today is a very important day for Merck Foundation and Merck More Than a Mother specifically. First, we are celebrating our dear friend and beloved First Lady, which is very valuable contribution to Merck More Than a Mother as an ambassador of Merck More Than a Mother in Burundi. Congratulations, Madam, Madam uh, First Lady and Madam Dennis. And of course, she's also the president of the Foundation Puntu. Yesterday, we launched our partnership with her and the Foundation and Ministry of Health and Ministry of Communication to build capacity in healthcare and in media to define interventions to uh, uh, break the stigma of infertility. Uh, I know I'm speaking in English. I hope that the people will understand me. So I speak very slowly. And, uh, uh, but of course, the most important things I want you to, uh, to understand and to listen, it will come from our speakers about how uh, your role is critical, very critical, to create a culture shift, to break the stigma of infertility. You are the one who enter every home without invitation. You are the one who everyone will read what you are writing about and be convinced with. And if we have a positive contribution to make a change like this, to change the culture, because it's not uh, uh, normal that till the century of 21st century, that women is still are stigmatized by infertility, is still discriminated and blamed for being infertile, while Men also are responsible to be infertile as well as, as uh, women. So it's 50-50%. So uh, men and women equally are affected by infertility. We need to write about this because this is the only way that we are going to break this stigma and this taboo and empower women and find a solution. Because if the woman in some cases, 50% of the cases are not the cause of infertility, Whatever we are going to do, uh, treatment-wise, management-wise, will not be effective, and it will not resolve the, the, the problem. So, and it will always create a bad feeling and domestic violence and many other things. So we want to raise awareness about this, and we want to normalize talking about infertility. So uh, it's like any condition. Infertility, like someone has diabetes or hypertension, it's the same. It can be managed, it can be treated. Very important topic I want to talk about as well is prevention. Because you know that 85% of infertility can be prevented. So if you raise awareness about prevention for the young uh, youth and adolescents and uh, the people who still have future in front of them, they can prevent even being infertile because it is caused by untreated infectious diseases. So regular checkup and treating this infection from the start can avoid the complication of being infertile and avoid all this uh, uh, pain and agony. So uh, if we raise awareness and we listen very much to the scientific presentation uh, will be presented to you by our expert, uh, 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 our doctor here, he will explain to you how can you talk about it in a very simple way and a simple language for the common person in the community to understand. So you will find yourselves are saving lives, saving lives by a good message to people, how to prevent, how to deal with the problem, how to break this taboo, how to normalize talking about infertility as if you are talking about anything else. So this will help very much to break the stigma. So uh, uh, also going to the community and meeting women and meeting uh, couples and talk about their experience and what they are doing and how to avoid uh, being uh, mistreated by uh, the culture, how to tell community and sensitize them. It is not correct to put pressure on infertile couples in general, men or women. Okay, so if you do that, I think it will uh, help them to deal with uh, their condition in a very relaxed way, in a very civilized way. And I think the best, best partner to achieve these objectives is media. 
Uh, yesterday, we had also uh, partners with art, with singers, and uh, with uh, uh, you know artists, so songwriters, to also deliver the message to, to the community in a very simple way. I believe very much strongly that art and media are very critical partners to sensitize communities about the sensitive issues and health issues. And I am going to take this forward to all across Africa. We have launched the same training in uh, Senegal and in uh, Kenya and also in Zambia and in Ghana and today in Burundi and we will not stop here. We are going to go across uh, all African countries and we are going to create an African network how to sensitize communities about breaking the stigma of infertility. I think if we take this forward, uh, we will, uh, within five years maximum, we will be creating a cultural shift. Uh, we also are going to create local songs in every country we go to. Yesterday we selected uh, a few winners who uh, we are going to uh, produce their songs to be aired broadcasted in radios and TVs for people all the time for free so they can listen and they can understand the message and change and make a change. So this is very, very important. Uh, today also we are going to launch the Media Recognition Award. There is an award for all media personnel to submit nice stories about infertility with the aim to uh, uh, educate the community how to treat infertile women and infertile couple properly, uh, correctly, with fairness, without pressure. Uh, so the, 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 the coverage has to have this theme. You, you can talk about infertile uh, women, you can talk about uh, their experience of suffering, but with the aim to uh, tell community at the end, this is not correct. You don't have to do this. This is not uh, right and we have to change. So this is the uh, award selection will be based on this. And uh, uh, this will be in four different categories, TV shows, radio, print and online. Every category has its own, its own price. So I am looking forward to see your innovation and creativity. How can you create the best media coverage for infertility with the aim to break the stigma of infertility? Not only just talk about uh, a story of suffering and that's it. You have to angle it in a way that it can raise awareness. So this is very important. We also launched the Fashion Award, and you can see how beautiful the uh, designs that uh, our uh, first lady uh, uh, designed for uh, having a message of how women are more than just mothers and the design was amazing and we wore it all yesterday and it was a great way to raise awareness about uh, infertility and breaking the stigma of infertility through fashion. So you see how in your natural setting you can really raise awareness about very sensitive topic with our art, fashion, media and many other things. So again, thank you very much, and I wish you good luck, and I wish that you enjoy and benefit from this training. Thank you very, very much. Thank you.